What's up everybody, welcome back again. I've received a few requests for some Pandero tutorial videos, so I thought I would start by sharing with you this simple arrangement for two Pandero players. Now this works really well with one of each type of Pandero, one Pandero Jikoru and one Nylon Pandero, but it also works really nicely with two Nylon Panderos just depending on the kind of rep you're playing. Now one of the things that's so cool about this arrangement is that it's very versatile. There's a verse section and a chorus section, and obviously with two players, within each of those sections, there's two parts happening at once. But as long as you know those parts, there is then a lot of improvisation you can do. There's a lot of variations you can make. You can kind of interact with each other, so you can really kind of make it your own once you know the kind of basic shell of the part. The other great thing about it is that even though there's uh, two sections, two players each, there's actually only three rhythms because one of the rhythms goes through the entire part or the entire arrangement. Uh, so when I'm doing it with two different panderos, one nylon and one hide skin pandero, I like to jump that rhythm, have it in one drum in the verse and the other in the chorus. But if you have two nylon panderos, one player can just play that through the whole thing while the other person does the variations. But let's start going through this now. So in the verse section, on the hide skin pandero, or the pandero jikoru, um, you would just play 16th notes the whole time. So any kind of jingle sound the whole time through. And also you want that surdu vibe going. So closed, open, closed, open. So as long as you have that 16th note pattern going, and you have that surdu open and closed kind of going. From there, you can make any variations that you want. You can add kind of the slap on the, uh, the pickup note before the open tone. You can add a little turn at the end of the phrase, so on and so forth, something like this. So that's the verse section with the hide skin pandero. Now in the verse with the nylon pandero, we're gonna play pachito alto. So now this term kind of has a few different meanings. If you're a, like a jazz drum set player, uh, you might know this rhythm as boom, ba, boom, boom, ba, boom, 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 ba, boom, boom, ba, boom, boom. And you would be correct, but in terms of pandero playing, when we're, when we're listening to pagogi music, the, uh, the Pachito Alto rhythm is this. Right, so um, with this rhythm, I kind of find when I, at least when I listen to the recordings, I don't hear a whole lot of variation. It's almost like a, like a walking bass part or a ride cymbal part. It's just really constant or I guess maybe even a, a clave in Cuban music would be a, a better analogy. It's pretty constant. So the variation is gonna come mostly from the hide skin pandero and the nylon part, at least in the verse, is gonna remain pretty consistent. Let's hear what those two parts sound like together now. Right, now moving on to the chorus. This is where that rhythm jumps, like I said. In the chorus, I like to have the hide skin pandero play the parchito alto part. So again, not a whole lot of variation in it. We're just taking the rhythm that was on the nylon pandero in the verse and moving it over to the hide skin pandero in the chorus. Then with the nylon pandero in the chorus, this is where you get sort of the most type of variation. There's a lot of different stuff you can do. We can play pretty much uh, Parchito Alto in terms of the rhythm I talked about earlier on, on the drum kit. We can just play one, two, one. <laughs> or 
or if you checked out the uh, transcription I did of Bira Presidenci playing Vaila, Vaila, which you can check out right up here, uh, you, there's this variation that he created on Partido Alto that sounds like this. One, two, one, two, one. Right, so there's a lot you can do with that. So the, uh, the first part, the partito alto part I played, only had a couple of slaps in it. This part has uh, quite a few more slaps in it. And the slaps are what you really sort of hear the most, especially if you pan the two parts in a, in a recording to one ear to the other. You kind of hear those slaps sort of bounce back and forth, and that's a really cool effect. So there's a, a few variations that I like to make in the partito alto part on the nylon pandero in the chorus just so that we get a nice interaction with the slaps of the hide skin pandero. First is I like that slap on E, one E, but if you think about the uh of one, one E and uh, that uh is already in the hide skin pandero because he or she is playing one E uh. So there's not really much need for us to play on the nylon pandero that uh slap. So I like to go one, two, one, two, one, E and a two and three, right? Uh, you can also do one E and a two and a, is another nice sound. Then the second half of that beat often has a slap on the and of one, one E and a two and one and, but again, that slap is already in the hide skin pandero part, boo, boo, ga, boo, ga. So what I like to do is move that slap from the and of one to the uh of one, one e and a uh, two. So all together we get two, three, and, one e and a uh, two and three, a uh, four e and a, uh, one e and a uh, two and one, a uh, two e and a. Uh. Then what you do on beat two of each of those two bars, if we have two bars of two, is kind of up to you. That's where you can put in a lot of variation. But as long as we have one E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a, it makes a nice sort of chatter between the slaps of the two panderos. So let's uh, uh, let's hear what those two sound like together now in the chorus part. Finally, let's put everything together. I'll do eight bars of verse, followed by eight bars of chorus. That's it. I hope you get a chance to try this out very soon. If you have any questions or requests for future videos, drop me a comment down below and I'll see you real soon. Thanks.